Chester A. Arthur was the 21st President of America, well known for being honest and responsible. His major accomplishment was the reform of the civil service system. Chester Allen Arthur was born on October 5, 1829, in Fairfield, Vermont, the son of an abolitionist preacher. His father was an Irish immigrant, and his mother came from Canada. He was named after Chester Abel, the doctor who assisted in his birth. From relatively humble beginning, he rose to the highest office in the land. He died on November 18, 1886, in New York. The career of Chester A. Arthur included the roles of teacher, lawyer, politician, and statesman. He was educated and graduated from Union College. He became the 21st President of America in 1881 and served for four years until 1885. His nickname was the Gentleman Boss because of his dapper clothing. He was a fastidious dresser with an extensive wardrobe and would often change his clothes several times a day. Chester A. Arthur married Ellen Lewis Herndon Arthur on October 25, 1859. They had two sons and a daughter. His wife, Ellen Herndon, died before he took office. The president's sister, Mary Arthur McElroy, served as the unofficial first lady and also looked after his children. Chester A. Arthur belonged to the Republican political party. He was 50 years old when he was inaugurated as the 21st president. Inauguration is a president's swearing-in ceremony. Chester A. Arthur was never elected to the presidency, but succeeded to office after the assassination of James Garfield. Chester A. Arthur was an imposing figure, standing at 6 feet 2 inches tall and weighing approximately 225 pounds. He had wavy brown hair, black eyes, and had side whiskers and a mustache. He hired the most famous designer in New York, Louise Comfort Tiffany, to transform the White House into a showplace befitting the office of the American president. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. Chester A. Arthur was a reformer and worked hard for the reunification of the nation after the Civil War and Reconstruction. He supported the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 and the Pendleton Act for civil service reform. Chester A. Arthur died of apoplexy, a cerebral hemorrhage and stroke, on November 18, 1886, in New York. He was 56 years old. Chester A. Arthur was buried in Albany, New York. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of Chester A. Arthur, who was well known for being honest and responsible. His major accomplishment was the reform of the civil service system. The next U.S. president was Grover Cleveland.